Princess Anne seamlessly transitions between English and French in poignant speech to mark D-Day anniversary. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Princess Anne moved seamlessly between English and French in a moving speech to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day. The Princess Royal praised the unwavering resolve of Allied forces as hundreds of paratroopers jumped over Normandy on the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Accompanied by her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, the Princess unveiled a statue of Regina, a member of the Canadian royal family in World War II, which will tell a story of loyalty, courage and duty for generations to come. Princess Anne, 73, has served as Colonel General of the Regiment since 1982. The Princess Royal said in a speech, the Regina Rifles Regiment, as it was then known, 80 years ago, was across the channel, preparing to land on the beaches of Normandy. One can only imagine the feeling of fear, anticipation and perhaps fear of the unknown. Then she smoothly switched to French, adding, Mais laws de seizure for T. Deke, le juge, il wire eighty on de man, si impression de l'oi ote, de brov or et d'ivoire o le regiment prendre de sojourno beach, le one of the first allied regiments to set off for France in what was then a massive effort to embarrass the Nazi world, after five years of war. This translates to, but on that fateful day, D Day, eighty years ago tomorrow, that sense of loyalty, Courage and duty saw the regiment storm Juno Beach, one of the first Allied regiments to land in France in what was a massive battle to rid the world of the scourge of Nazism. After five years of war, the mother of two continued to seamlessly transition from English to French throughout the speech. Princess Anne continued, despite suffering more than 100 casualties ashore, the regiment continued to advance with unwavering determination, liberating rivers. Fontaine Henri, and then Bretville Lorgelius. How fitting that on this 80th anniversary of the landing and the start of the Battle of Normandy, this statue should be unveiled in honor of the Regina Rifles who sacrificed so much for the cause of freedom and liberty. Princess Anne continued, despite suffering more than 100 casualties ashore, the regiment continued to advance with unwavering determination, liberating rivers, Fontaine Henri, and then Bretville Lorgelius. How fitting that on this 80th anniversary of the landing and the start of the Battle of Normandy, this statue should be unveiled in honor of the Regina Rifles who sacrificed so much for the cause of freedom and liberty. It is also an opportunity to find the statue at Bretville in Orgelas, on June 7, 8 and 9, 1944, where the regiment resisted the advance against enemy attacks, without rice or terrain. The French paragraph translates to, It is also appropriate that the statue is here in Bretville Lorglas, where on 7, 8 and 9 June 1944 the regiment resisted enemy counterattacks head-on, without ceding any ground. Speaking about the unveiled statue, the Princess Royal concluded, The statue unveiled today will forever tell a story of loyalty, courage and duty. I also hope it reminds future generations to never forget the sacrifice and determination of the Regina Rifles. Even the Joneses. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.